So I'm going to ask these questions. Um, how important is art? Was Paul an artist? I'm going to skip to two right now. Um, so I consider myself an artist. I don't know if you consider yourself one, but um, I'll leave it up to you what you think art is and how you feel about art in its various forms. Um, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. That's their audience and they're singing praises. Probably God's inspiring them, giving them something nice to sing even though they're bound in chains, you know. And even if they don't feel great and maybe it's wet and murky down there, they're trying to have a good time at least inside of their hearts. So, yeah, to me, I sing a lot. I uh, suffer from a lot of back pain, and I can very much identify with God giving me songs, even words. I hear it in my spirit before I sing it, and those are the best songs. Sometimes he gives me full songs right away, and sometimes he makes me work on them. But Paul was an artist, and so am I. So... Here's someone else, Acts 9, and this person is very, um, their art was so important to people, um, 36, blah, 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 here we go, Dorcas, okay, now there was a Joppa, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas, this woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And forasmuch as Lydda was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping. So these people really loved her. Okay, it said that she um, was full of good works and alms deeds. Okay. Um, and showing, so stood by him weeping. And what did they show? They showed the coats. She made coats and garments, which Dorcas made. I don't make coats yet, but I'm planning to make garments. I just got a sewing machine. But I do, I mean, I guess you could consider my little hat there a garment. I do make blankets and hats and scarves, but I'm not quite at the coat level yet, but I'll get there. <laughs> While she was with them. So, they're like, oh man, she loved us. She made us like my favorite coat, you know. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turning him to the body said Tabitha arise and she opened her eyes and when she saw Peter she sat up gosh what a loving person there's no better way to show that you love someone than like just being personal loving and then if God gives you some kind of art form you share that with them and I've shared my art form with people some people appreciate it and some people don't and it's just it's the way that you know I love people I'm, I'm definitely a gift giver that's one of my one of my arts it's okay if you're not everybody is different but you do have some kind of skill that gives you the same kind of spirit as this it's definitely true you have something um, to offer just like that even if it's you know even if you're like somebody that does people's taxes there's there's an art about everything you do um, so what kinds of art soften your heart specifically? It doesn't have to be art that you do. It could be art that you appreciate. I'm just wondering, like, whoever's watching this, what are the kinds of art? And maybe I, I don't know every form of art. So you could enlighten me. Like, I like this art. And I'll be like, I've never heard of that before. I would love to know what kind of art you love. And, and you would be so upset if somebody made you you know, not socks, but whatever it is, and passed away, what kind of art would really speak to you if, if for someone to say I love you? Okay, um, 
for um yeah i'm just saying to me art is everything i love to make music bake oh i love baking i love baking more than cooking and i like to make things with my hands obviously um okay and then i'm going to end with philemon 1 6 and ask you what that means to you so let's go through here romans corinthians it's the last book that Paul wrote. Some people say he wrote Hebrews and James, and that's incorrect. But you can disagree with me. I just probably won't argue with you. Okay. Philemon, Philemon, whatever you want to say. Okay. Okay. That the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. And this really reminds me of that verse where Paul said that um, he he provides you with every good word and work. Those Everything good that comes out of your mouth and that you do comes from the Lord preparing you in those things internally. And so, um, where was the verse again? One, six. Okay, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual. Your faith is going to become effectual when you acknowledge every good thing that's in you. You're not going to be really a good representation of Christ if you're like, oh man, I'm no good at this, I'm no good at that. No, you need to accept the gifts and callings of the Lord. And the, and the gifts and callings of the Lord are without repentance. He's not going to be like, hey, your task is music. Oh, now you suck at music. No, if somebody says you suck at music, don't believe them. If God put it on your heart to do music, you don't suck at music. You need to acknowledge that you have that gift. And God can use you if you're tenderhearted, positive, and just a free vessel for the Lord. Anyway, so I'm I'm like Paul. I'm more like Paul in that I have the gift of singing um, and, and in some other ways, but I definitely do love to make things too, but this is more of like a secondary gift, but it's a hard secondary gift. Like I love, I really love to make things. So sometimes, sometimes my musical art go, goes on hold for that. But what are your artistic abilities? Um, do you agree with, with, what these verses are, are seeing? Do you, do you think, did you ever think about that being possibly about art? I mean, to me it is. To me that's that's a big it's a big no if you don't if you don't catch that that every good thing that's in you it's the things that make your heart smile. Okay, that's about it. I mean, yeah, there's other things included in that verse too, but it's a big one. 